Good afternoon, Father Kevin here again. It is Monday afternoon, the 23rd of March, and I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update and say hi and thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, first message, we are still here. Uh, we haven't gone anywhere, uh, but the church is also still open for quiet prayer, and that is Monday to Saturday from 12 to 3, and also on Sunday mornings from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. So feel free to come by the church. If you see a lot of people, though, if you were to keep that social distancing still in the in front of your mind, I think that's probably how we're going to be able to get out of the crisis and the health emergency we find ourselves in today. I want to thank all of you that have also dropped by donations. Obviously, that is very much appreciated. And hopefully, when all of us get back together to celebrate the sacraments, we'll be able to, uh, to kind of recoup all those losses and things. It has been great also on Sunday morning. I just took an opportunity to come outside. Many of you have been coming by, and I think one of the things that really uh, touched me is the amount of families that were together, uh, either by bicycle, coming by and saying hi and waving, or walking by. It was great to see all of you spending so much more time with your families, which kind of leads to that point that some have asked, you know, when are we going to have, we can have online or streaming, organized prayer and, and things. I would just say that, you know, we are still in the season of Lent, uh, and maybe this is a good time for quiet prayer and reflection. Uh, to take the moment uh, that kind of separates us from everybody else uh, and maybe just take some of that extra time with the Lord for ourselves. Uh, if you are looking for, uh, uh, you know, masses and things, you know, uh, on our Catholic Faith Network, uh, cfntv.org, they live stream all of the, uh, the different types of devotions as well as, as well as Sunday Mass and daily Mass also from the Cathedral and also from St. Pat's Cathedral. And, that is uh, channel 29 and 137 on Optimum, and also BIOS, that's channel 296. So if you have any of those services, you might want to tune in that way. Some people have asked about Palm Sunday. Uh, we do have the palms. They're not blessed, uh, and also that might create a crowd of people looking for them. So we have them, and we're going to keep them, and we will do a distribution of palms uh, whenever we get back together for our first Mass, coming up whenever that is. We can all pray for each other. Uh, one of the other uh, things here at, at Our Lady of the Snow that will continue is our outreach uh, under the direction of Diana. She's doing a great job over there with her volunteers. And so if you want to drop some food by, that's much appreciated. Look on the website for a list of the most uh, needed things. Uh, and then also if you're in need, uh, please don't be shy. Uh, give Diana a call. We'll find a way to either get it to you by people that want to volunteer to deliver as well as you can come by and pick it up. I will have definitely a station set up so that you can pick up whatever you are in need of. Uh, also, you might be asking, what, what are some of the priests doing these days? Uh, we are responding to emergency calls and sick calls. And one of the things I do is I'm, I'm out there helping some of the priests get the necessary um, emergency gear that they need in order to do that. So gloves and masks and things. So if you have any kind of connection to you know, medical gloves or masks, uh, please let me know. We'd be able to make sure that our priests also stay protected because you'll see that just as susceptible as everybody else is, so are, so are our priests and you want to pray for anybody. Uh, which brings me to the next uh, gratitude and that is definitely thanks to all of our healthcare personnel that are right there, right there on the front lines, all of our police and fire and rescue that are responding to calls. Uh, we keep you in our prayers. We thank you for placing yourself at risk in order to make everybody else healthier. So with that being said, if you need anything, uh, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Uh, you're either going to get a message machine to leave a message, or you'll probably get, get somebody alive. Also, especially if it's during the day. So God bless, stay safe, and I hope to see you guys live and in person soon. Take care.